Hello, Bill Hayes again. Well, guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a redneck force gauge. It's good for uh, it's good for measuring the force that a uh, shot outputs. Okay, so like if you're uh, thinking that your shot is a uh, is 50% faster by doing a particular method if you're shooting your slingshot or your bow, but you really want to know, there's an easy way to find out, and this is how you do it: the redneck force gauge. And uh, it's like this: you just take a coffee can, an old coffee can. All right, you stuff this with a t-shirt, cotton batting, whatever you want. It'll work good as long as it stops the shot and keeps like that. I'm just gonna put cotton batting in there because I just happen to have some in the house there. Put that in there. I like that. Take an old socket wrench. Okay, this is old socket right here. You can tell this has got a little rust on it and everything. So this is old one, but you wanna make sure that it spins freely and then it ratchets. Because one of, the, one of the problems with a pendulum uh, device is you have to be fast to run over there and see how far the swing was on it. Well, on a ratchet, it hits it and it'll move it to a certain distance and it'll stay. And that's a very important part right there. Now, you just take yourself a uh, catch box or anything you want like that uh, and, and just put your uh, ratchet in a vise. I use the extension on there, like that. Set it up, take your ratchet, the wrench off. This is stuffed with cotton. Take some redneck tape, or as we call it, duct tape. How much are we going to need here? I wouldn't need a pretty good amount. We'll wrap a couple strips around the bottom of the handle there, like that. Roll it up. Over here to the redneck force gauge. And uh, making sure that we are and get that on there nice and tight. Just put that around there. Now you alternatively you can drill a hole in this can and uh, sink it in there deeper. But the way we're doing it here, there's no need to. Anyway, you just wrap your wrap wrap your wrench around like this a few times to where it gets good and hard on there it's where it won't move wrap a couple more times this is nice and nice and scientific as you can tell funny thing about scientific stuff though is doesn't matter how the device looks it's how it performs and this will perform just as well as anything else out there I can make this out of carbon fiber with stainless steel polished ends on it, whatnot, won't make it any more accurate or work any better than what we're doing right here. And that's what we're doing. We're just making a simple redneck force gauge. All right, that's probably pretty good right there. Rip that off, throw that to the side. Now, you see when you hit this, this wants to, makes the ratchet move like that. All right, and you just snap that back into the extension. Move this out enough so that uh, make a little bit of adjustment here to make sure that it doesn't hit the side of your catch box or your stand, whatever you're putting it on. And make sure that it's hanging exactly straight up and down. Now, all you have to do is step off and shoot it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I'll just use a slingshot that happens to be in my back pocket. This one, step off, shoot it, and it'll move this like that. It'll move a certain distance. When you want to reset it, all you do is just pull it all the way around so it's hanging like that, and that's how easy it is. All right. Now, you don't have to step off very far to shoot this. You can just step off right next to it. Always wear, uh, always wear safety goggles when you're doing this kind of stuff because ricochets, you never, you never know when, you know, you might get it, okay? So you hit that handle at the rig sure right in your face. But uh, if you hit it up up, up there in the, in the part where I'm showing you, no problem. Now you see how that did? It moved it this far right here. Now, an important thing here is if this if your shot hits it so hard that it spins this all the way around, then all you have to do is add weight to the add weight to the can. You put a steel shot in there, sand, anything you want, just add weight to it. 
until it doesn't move it so far. So that means that it's uh, useful for uh, anything from a anything from a uh, oh a 22 to a to a 243 to a 30-odd six if you want. All you have to do is just add enough weight to the uh, bottom of the pendulum part here to the head of it, and uh, you can test the same concept. Use the same concept with anything out there. All right, that's how it works. You shoot it, and it moves it, and it stops to a certain point. And that's very, very important because, like I said, pendulum, it goes to a certain point and then it comes back, and you have to be quick and try to try to mark where it was. This way you don't have to worry about all that. Ratchet takes care of it for you. All right, hopefully, hopefully that's uh, plain enough. Oh, one other small thing. Before every shot, you've got to dump the ammo out, okay? So, so I would need to shoot again here. And I'll say if I want to test a different type of band set or, or a setup on there, I have to take that ammo out of there or else this will be heavier for the next shot and it uh, won't work as well. It'll, it'll, it will uh, eventually not move as much because it gets heavier and heavier. Um, with just one or two shots in there, one or two uh, pellets in there, it's not a big deal, but get a whole lot more than that, it does make a big deal. All right, I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.